Hello, my lovely woodland friends. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, isn't it? It's a beautiful day to just uh, talk about something. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. First of all, appreciate all the love and feedback and comments and support and energy I'm getting from my last video. Talking about BTS and Sugar's greatness. Um, again, it's just me being me, man. I'm not doing this for clout. I'm not doing this. Um, um, you, you know, it's, it's, it's just me genuinely being me. I'm not, I'm not intentionally doing anything besides being myself. So, you know what I'm saying? Let's talk about it, man. We, we got, we got, we got new music on the way, man. We got, we got new music on the way. And I don't know who needs to hear this, but BTS does not just simply drop music. Okay. It's gonna be something special. It's gonna be something special. Um, to my understanding, BTS haven't dropped a song, a single with this kind of energy. Uh, they haven't dropped a single since Butter, which was two years ago. And I actually liked Butter. I like Dynamite too. I was actually surprised when they dropped Butter because I felt like Dynamite still had a lot in the tank. Um, and then they dropped Butter, which was just freaking amazing. And it held us down all this time. Here we go now with new music. Uh, take two. Um, I've seen that, you know, people are saying that this is uh, produced by Suga. And written by R. M. and J. Hope. Um, I don't know where people are getting that from. I've, 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 I've looked around. I poked around. I read the press release. I haven't seen where people are getting that from. Um, but I'm just gonna take it. It makes sense. So let's let's just go with that. So y'all know how this goes, man. Anytime BTS show out, I show up. Anytime Sugar show out. I show up. Matter of fact, y'all do me a favor, man. I know Sugar kind of stopped doing this, but it literally just makes my day, man. It, it just makes my day. Y'all do me a favor, man. Just type in the comments, Sugar. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that does not get old. I swear on my life, that's it. He's going to bring that back. Mark my words. He's going to bring that back. He's just taking some time away from it for whatever reason. He's going to bring that back. It's, it's too brilliant. We should have known from the beginning that the guy was brilliant because I've never heard of any rapper doing that as their ad lib. I was like, what? And then, shut them on them on Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. All right. Reel it in. Reel it in. Reel it in. Reel it in. So, <clears throat> Uh, produced by Sugar. Uh, somehow he, again, I don't know where people are getting this information from. If y'all know, please let me know. Um, as I mentioned, I like for these comments on these videos to actually be a mastermind where we talk about these things because BTS just got so much dimensions to them. Um, I love for my comments to be a mastermind. I told y'all I read every last one of them. And I'm getting more and more active in there. But anyway, talking about uh, take two. I noticed that this is produced and created by the trio, which is so funny because in my last video where I was talking about Sugar doing the three mil a night for three nights, Jesus, that's crazy. Um, that's almost 10 mil in, in three days. It's just stupid. Um, I mentioned one of my favorite BTS songs. I always talk about it. I always talk about it. Is what? Tear! And Tear was produced by the trio, RM, J-Hope, and Sugar. <laughs> but this one, uh, we just have mostly produced by Sugar, which just makes sense, man. This, 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 you know what I feel like, man? I, I, I honestly just feel like that, that smiling emoji with the hearts all over it. You know, the one that's just blushing. That's honestly what I feel like because the universe is just blessing me and us with all of this amazing sugar content, all of this amazing sugar action, sugar traction. And it's, it's just a beautiful time to be alive. It's just a beautiful, beautiful time to be alive. Um, so 
Yeah, man. Um, they've come together, and that's something else about BTS, man. I just love, man. It's like with this amazing septuplet. I, I don't know what the what the exact word is for for that that much for seven, but with this amazing arsenal of artists. Told y'all that's the conversation. With this amazing arsenal of artists, you know, is 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 it's like it's like Burger King. It's like that Tupac song. How do you want it? How do you want it? Da, 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 da. How do you feel? I could give you sugar and and, and J Hope. I could give you sugar and Jimin. I could give you J Hope. RM and Sugar. I can give you Sugar and Jung Cook. Or if I want, I give you Jung Cook with no chaser. I give you Jimin with no chaser. How, how do you want it? I give you Jin with no chaser. Ooh. Oh. Oh. No pun intended. That was clever. That, no pun intended. Ah. 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 Shout out to you if you got that. Oh my God. That just happened on the fly. I did not pre plan that. Holy shit. Okay, okay, okay. That was dope. All right. <sighs> okay. How do you want it? How do you want it? it, it you can get it anyway. i give you the vocal line. And we'll just top the charts. How do you want it? You know what I'm saying? So, I, I'm going to continue to... That's going to be the conversation. And this is why I do this. Like, honestly, another reason why I do this is... One, I'm a fan of music to some extent. I just can't help it. It's just naturally who I am. I don't run from that. I have total appreciation for it, for who I am and what God has blessed me with. But I'm also, more importantly, man, I'm just a huge fan of greatness. I'm a huge fan of greatness. I think that's where this energy is really coming from. Because sometimes I really ask myself, like, dog, why? Well, where is this coming from? And I think it's just I'm a, I'm a huge fan and I attract to greatness because I know the level of discipline it correction. I can imagine the level of discipline. I'm learning the level of uh, of discipline it takes to be great. Like, okay, you're you're you do music. Okay, I get it. Fine. You're successful. Okay, I get it. Fine. You're rich. Okay, I get it. Fine. You're famous. I get it. Fine. But how many can you say are all of that plus graceful? Okay, that's not easy to do to maintain that. Okay, let's be honest. Most people can't even can't even stand the traffic going to and from work. Okay, nonetheless, carrying all of this pressure, all of this influence, all of this greatness. And these guys do it with just the most amazing mind blowing level of grace. They almost make it look easy. And God knows it's not easy. God knows it's not easy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I'm, you know, I'm gonna give you just a quick example. You know, just the the energy that comes with that. You know, a couple weeks ago, I recently made like a mistake. Like, it, honestly, my first real mistake in a long time. It was at work, and I almost literally potentially killed somebody I, i'm not exaggerating by any sense of the word it was real difficult i had to, it took me a while to get over it i eventually had to forgive myself and it's a blessing that it was that person because that person is actually very smart and got quick reflexes so anyway i told this person when we talked about it i say man you know what dude in a crazy way i was like okay first of all it was real difficult i, I that it was you Okay, that was that almost got hurt due to my mistake. That was difficult to deal with. But I also told him, I said, you know what? In a crazy way, I told you I'm a really open minded person, extremely open minded person. I said, in a crazy way, it was actually very liberating. It was very liberating. It was very free because, again, it's been a really long time since I, I'm not perfect by any means, but I don't make mistakes because. I, I, I try to live righteous, okay? I, I follow this thing inside of me that I know for a fact is inside of me. And I know for a fact it talks to me and communicates to me. And it doesn't lead me astray. So I try to live righteous and it doesn't lead you astray. So you don't make a lot of mistakes. Anyway, I don't know who needed to hear that. But I was like, it's liberating. And the point that I'm making is this is pressure. 
Okay? And these guys handle it so well. So gracefully. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's that's why I just continue to do this and I continue to go so hard on this because, you know, sometimes you 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 need to hear it from somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the typical, you know, army fan base is these, you know, fan girls per se. You know, and a lot of people just kind of turn a blind eye to that, but when they see somebody like me that's just masculine, okay? Especially in a time where masculinity is not as appreciated. Um, you know, it's all good. It is what it is. Society will get their shit together. I got faith in them. Um, you know, sometimes you see somebody like me, like, you know, going so hard for this. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, it makes some people say, damn, maybe something is going on here. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, well, you know, like it, it trust me out. Like all these, you know, reactors, you know, they be listening to BTS and they be like, oh my God, who, who, who are these guys? This shit is dope. This shit is da, 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 da. And the magic behind that is, um, it didn't just get dope just because you finally decided to get your head out your ass and listen to it and check it out. It didn't just get dope. It been dope. It been amazing. It been incredible. It been great. You just realize it. That's one of my favorite words is realization and awareness. Because it says that this been here the whole time. You are just realizing it. You are just becoming aware of it. That's one of my favorite words. So... You know, we, 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 I'm going to continue to talk about this, man. And I appreciate this love and support. You know what I'm saying? Y'all giving return because it's just so genuine. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. Why do you think Korean culture is so big in America? Who the fuck you think started that? Who you think influenced that? Okay, I haven't, I, I, I don't even really watch TVs and TV shows and stuff like that because I'm too busy doing what I got to do because I'm trying to get on my shit because that's partially inspired by Master Yongi. That's another reason why I call him Master Yongi. For one, it sounds cool as hell, but for two, the man is a master. He makes it look easy. This guy is, a, is an artist. He's a genius. He's brilliant. He's a modern day genius. Okay, and he makes it look so easy. And I know it's not easy. That's why I call him Master Yongi. Shit, he teaching me stuff. You know what I'm saying? Helping me get my life together. Helping me get more discipline. Helping me do what I got to do. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, um, I don't really watch TV like that. But it came across my mind to watch Beef on Netflix. Which is actually really, really, really good. Um... And that's heavily based on, not heavily, but there's a lot of Korean culture sprinkled in there. Who the fuck you think started that? How, how you think Korean culture got so big in America? How you think K-pop got so big in America? Who you think sparked all of this? Come on, man. Squid Game. I haven't even seen that. See, that just go tell you how much. I, I still haven't even seen Squid Game. I believe that's Korean based project. Who you think sparked this? Spark this? Who? 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 It wasn't Gundam style, respectfully. I didn't even know that dude was Korean until he did the song with Sugar, which I still haven't listened to because I want to react to it someday. Um, we, we didn't care that he was Korean. We just liked the song at the time. But who you, who, how you think Korean culture got so big in America? Man, come on, dog. Come on, man. We got to respect this. All right? They started it, they sparked it, and they continuing it to do it. And another thing about BTS is just the influence. The influence. I can't wait for the next generation of artists that's inspired by BTS. To be honest with y'all, I actually got a song that's very inspired by BTS. I can't wait to release it someday. Um, I haven't even recorded it yet, but I got it written and I love it. But I, I, I can't wait, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I don't have any kids, but if I did... I would absolutely love if BTS was their favorite artist because I know what they're listening to. I know what they're getting. I know the energy they're getting. You don't even need to understand what the hell they're saying. Just pick up on the energy, man. Just pick up on the grace. Just pick up on the greatness. So, anyway, man, we just had to talk about it, man. Take two on the way, man. First official single. 
by BTS in quite some time, baby. Quite some time. We got it coming on the way, man. Produced by the one and only Sugar. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs>